And we have ANN7 sports reporters Faraz Patel and Pashka Mudlia joining us live from the OR Tambo International Airport. A very good morning to you there, that's Faraz. Uh, a very good morning. I understand the team was delayed, but give us a sense of the atmosphere there and what time can we expect them to arrive? Yeah, good morning, Lauren. Generally, I've been in studio doing sport for VUCA Africa between 6 and 8, uh, between 6 to 8 a.m. But this is a different story. This is Team South Africa. This is a moment to celebrate. I'm going to just ask my cameraman, Barbara, just to tilt a little bit to see the atmosphere right there. As you can see, it is absolutely incredible. There is so many fans coming in. This is a moment. This is such an amazing moment for South Africans right here. And I have another man who's decided to come with me, Pashka Mutlia. Uh, it's not every day this moment comes, doesn't it? Ten medals, it's, it's the target Saskok wanted, but it's a huge moment for South Africa, isn't it? Well, yes, for us, obviously, this is uh, the most successful showing that the South African has, team has had post-isolation, and it uh, makes for good reading in terms of that. Uh, we can see some of the, the people trickling in. I see uh, Chad Leclo, who has just walked through, and, of course, our guys on the ground probably will try and get visuals of that as well. Uh, yeah, it's been a largely successful uh, uh, showing, and it has to be said, uh, kudos to Casta Semenya and Wayne Fanica, uh, really, you know, taking everything that uh, that the media had to had to to put on them. You know, Wayne uh, being successful, and of course Casta, from a different point of view, having the burden of having to carry all that uh, rhetoric in and around her, her, her testosterone level, uh, showing that she's a true champion. And if anything, for me personally, uh, you know, she is the champion of this Olympic Games for us. Well, Peshka, I would just say to you, there's more and more athletes that are coming in, of course. But I just want to ask you, South Africans, we love to make a spectacle, don't we? Anything that we achieve, there's always something big that we have. This, this is worthy of it, isn't it? It is worthy of, of, of uh, making it a spectacle because, you know, largely South Africa is seen as a sporting nation and finally we've, we, we've done well in a, in a variety of different disciplines to, to make that so. Uh, swimming, obviously, Chad will be disappointed with the two silvers and we were told that he wasn't going to be here, but we see that uh, he's he brought uh, his presence here to Team South Africa to celebrate with obviously some of his teammates and the rest of the team as well. Put, put yourself in an athlete's shoe, you're walking in, coming out of customs, coming into the terminals, you're going to see this. This is going to be amazing, won't it? There's three floors, right here, of huge fan base coming in because everyone has followed the Olympics and everyone stayed up all night to see what South Africa can achieve and boy didn't they disappoint. Rightfully so for us, you know, this is what uh, South Africa is all about. If you want to paint the, the Rainbow Nation picture, you're seeing it today. And sports, as Nelson Mandela always said, has the power to unite a nation. It can create, uh, uh, you know, uh, boundaries and break boundaries, rather, over that political divide that we often find ourselves stuck into in this country. Bashka Mudla, thank you so much. You and I will obviously be here uh, throughout the morning to, of course, celebrate Team South Africa is back to you, Lauren. The athletes are going to be arriving in just under half an hour's time. And I'm telling you, our tumble is going to be in absolute raptures when that happens. Well, thanks for that. Faraz Patel and Pashka Mudlia there live from Oratamba International Airport. Uh, Faraz, I want to turn back to you as uh, this is really exciting and this is one of our top stories uh, headlining right now. Um, tell us a little bit more about, you know, we're obviously welcoming home the, co the, the athletes here, but talk to us about the coaches and those, you know, who played their big roles behind the scenes. Uh, will they also be entering today and, you know, South Africa really giving them a great welcome home? that they deserve yeah definitely you know what I, like a musician the producers obviously the man behind the scenes or the lady behind the scenes whatever the case may be I think the coaches deserve a lot of credit especially the ones who have managed Casta and Wade so well I think to, to produce a gold medalist it takes something special you can have the talent but it's about managing the talent and they really deserve all the credit and I think for the coaches, they're obviously going to be getting prize money, but I think they also deserve a lot of credit for making sure that they keep the athletes focused, especially Casa Semenya, with regards to all the controversy that has been going on. The coaches have kept the focus with her, and look what she's produced.
Yeah, she's produced uh, astoundingly a gold medal there uh, in the women's 800 meter. Uh, overwhelming support, obviously, for Custer from South Africa, but she may be facing some really tough questions from the IAAF. Can you talk us through uh, these? Uh, this, uh, th these. Well, listen. Let's just be. I think today we should celebrate Custer. I think we should leave all the controversies behind for another day. Let's today celebrate Casta. Let's celebrate her gold medal. Let's celebrate what she has achieved through all the trials and tribulations that she's gone through. For her to land a gold medal, she's going to walk out as the golden girl of South, African, uh, of South Africa right now. The most celebrated woman in this country and she deserves it no matter what people have to say about it. And lastly for us, before I let you go, Saskok asked for 10 medals and 10 is exactly what they got. Uh, one of the, the most successful Olympic Games that South Africa has ever had thus far. Talk us through this. Yeah, without a doubt, you know, since 1992, you know, we've been winning medals, but not double figures. And yeah, they are. They've won 10 medals. Yeah, it might have been two gold, but listen, we will take any gold medal any day of the week here in the Olympic Games because any gold medal is so, so prestigious. And I think Kasten and Wade are going to be celebrated for that. Well, thank you so much for that update there for us. Patel live from Uro Tambo International Airport as uh, they welcome home the SA Olympic team. Moving on now to other stories making headlines.